Now I'm going to demonstrate the follow-up tool using a patient that we've previously scanned. I will select the patient view and open a new exam. Once we have the new exam open, we will open the follow-up tool and the archived images will be on the left of the screen at the bottom. We'll select the image we want to compare from the previous study and that will now be on the split screen to the left while the live imaging you can see is on the right. One of the things that makes the follow-up tool so powerful is that it opens the live exam with the same parameters as the previous exam, so all the settings are identical. This is important because small variations in gain or dynamic range can sometimes mimic pathology. In this example, you can see if the image on the left had significant gallbladder sludge, you could compare the right image after the appropriate therapy to see if any sludge remains or if the treatment was appropriate. As you can see on the left image, gallbladder sludge is present, but after the appropriate therapy and treatment, the gallbladder sludge has disappeared on the right. Another strong feature of the follow-up tool is that in just a few minutes, you can recheck previous exams to see if therapies have been effective. Or if the therapy has not been effective, you can reassess your therapeutic plan on a more timely basis. Thank <laughs> you.